Hello and welcome. I had some time off and I saw that some people were complaining about the solo PvE loot being a lot worse now than before. I decided to attempt this challenge myself and after trial and error I came to the following results. And I'm here to give you a guide that is intended for brand new players on how to easily and safely reach 10 million silver within your first 3 days of playtime and on top of that get some decent fame. Now is the perfect time to start if you haven't already because there is a 25% fame buff until December 30th. If you are interested in starting Albion and you haven't already, you can find my referral link in the description. Alright, so let's get started. We will assume that the player is new and bad at PvP. <laughs> we are only interested in getting 30 days premium. First, some rules though. Number one, no Corrupteds or Helgates allowed because it would be too easy otherwise. Number two, no teaming up. I will play completely solo. No guilds and no discord. And number three, no swiping. No using real money, obviously. Step one begins at the tutorial. Obviously you have to do the tutorial so you get the three days premium for free. Just farm for silver, around 200 is more than enough so you can afford to buy all the tier 2 items you want straight from the market. Make sure you pick up a sword, bow, cowl, jacket and sandals. Also, make sure you pick up two mules from the market. You can resell these for a nice quick boost in economy once you leave the tutorial area. You will be slightly overloaded but that's fine because we really need the money early on so it is worth it. We are going to speedrun this one. Important thing to note is that you actually can't leave the beginner area until your character has 15 minutes of playtime. Spend this time farming up until you reach tier 3 because hey, might as well. Alright, so now we're done with the tutorial. Uh, doesn't matter which city you pick. I picked Limhurst because I like the tree maps the most. The forest biomes are the most pretty, I think, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Alright, so do these little tutorials. You will get one free gold, which you can sell for free, around 3k silver, pretty good. Then we go to town, repair our gear, sell our stuff, and you want to try to get the following setup. It's fine if you can't afford all of this just yet, make sure you have the tier 3 stuff at least. Next, go to a nearby tier 3 zone and you can enter one of these mob camp areas. Whether you clear the open world mobs or go inside the dungeon, it's up to you. Uh, clear until you reach the learning point to level up tier 4 gear. You can use your learning points for that, then equip your tier 4 gear uh, if you have that. Keep clearing until you reach the Adept's Reaver, that's the one you want, the tier 4 Reaver. While you do this, you can equip your bow as well, clear a few mobs so you can unlock the tier 3 torch. If you unlock Crossbow Fighter, what you should do is toggle Learn on the Crossbow Fighter node and on the top right of the screen in your Destiny board. This will automatically level it up when you reach the Learning Point threshold. We want to unlock the second passive as fast as possible, this will increase our clearing speed. Once you reach Mastery 6, you can go ahead and turn it off, however, because we don't really need to power level that much. Alright, now let's return to town, go and repair everything, and then head to the market, sell all of the Tier 2 and Tier 3 gear, except for the torch if you still need it. Uh, leave the market and look for the expedition area. It's a blue portal circle thing if you open your minimap. Uh, head over there and pick the Adept Expedition and then complete it. It should be fairly straightforward and should take you around 5 to 10 minutes depending on how quick you are. During this expedition, you will probably unlock the tier 4 torch, so go ahead and equip that and then you can sell the tier 3 torch. And now we got another big boost in economy since we got that royal sigil. This thing can be sold in the market for around 30 to 35k, you can go ahead and quick sell it. Next, here is a list of things we're going to buy, go to the market, pick it up. If you sell everything, you should be able to afford this. If you don't, then that's fine. Just stay on the tier 4 gear from earlier. You will be able to buy this stuff soon enough. Alright, next up, we will go straight to the black zone, believe it or not. Zone anywhere you like and go to a nearby tier 5 zone. Those are usually not as active. Go and clear some open world mobs until you reach Expert's Reaver. You might struggle a little at first, so perhaps avoid the big bosses, but once you reach Expert's Reaver, you shouldn't have issues with those if you throw a poison on it. Alright, but do that for a bit, 
pick up the silver, maybe get some toes of tons of insights as a drop. Be careful though, always have your mount next to you. If you see reds, mount up and run. Go somewhere else, don't take the risk. Okay, return to town, make sure you have everything at tier 4.1. You can upgrade to a tier 4 riding horse if you can afford that as well. If you get any tomes, just sell them. You don't quite need them now. It's more important to get the silver to buy the gear. All right, but the goal for now is just to roam open world and kill the open world mobs we find, especially the bosses. Those give really good fame. And what we're trying to do right now is just trying to speed level to tier 7 reaver as fast as possible. Make sure you only stick around zones that match your reaver level or lower. If you don't have tier 7 reaver, then don't go to tier 7 zones. It will be really difficult at this point with your gear and your spec, so just stick to wherever zones are manageable. This will take a little while, but as long as you play it safe and keep your mount right next to you, you shouldn't have too many issues. Keep doing this until you reach tier 7 reaver. Uh, Alright, this is where we will start off our money-making scheme. Let's be honest, the open world mobs are really good for fame, but they don't actually drop that much loot. We need a better source of silver to get enough to buy premium within the first three days. By now, you should have a bunch of money, and here is where the grinding starts. Go to the market and buy the following. With the recent update, you can now spawn these maps in any zone. I know that many people will argue that solo dungeons are not the best way to make silver nowadays, but again, if we are a purely solo player with almost no silver to start off with and we want to avoid PvP, I think this is the most consistent and safe method, low risk, that will also get you some decent fame while at it. It's very simple, just pop out of any realm gate Use the solo dungeon map, grab the invisibility shrine, and then uh, when you enter, make sure you wait for 90 seconds before you start clearing to make sure the dungeon closes and no one comes in behind you and tries to kill you. Then just clear as you normally would. It's all RNG, but once you reach around 1 million, I highly suggest upgrading your gear. Go ahead, get a Tetra cape, a bag, higher tier gear, you know. If you feel comfortable clearing, grab a stalker jacket just for mob clearing and if you need to swap you know you still have the merc jacket for bosses once again this is just to increase the clearing speed get more loot the final build i suggest is this one this is the one you want to grind towards i personally miss times color cal and got out of energy so i would just say go royal cal for more branded clearing or druid cal is pretty nice and cheap as well it's up to you really but yeah i did this on a brand new account and while i was very inefficient about it and tried other things like wasting hours running through rose of avalon expecting to find something useful like don't get me wrong the loot was good but it took way too long to find that i do think this is the most consistent and safe method for a brand new player to reach their first 30 days premium you need roughly 10 million silver for that as of the time of me recording this video and this is the perfect time to do so, as I mentioned, because of the fame buff giving you a 25% increase in fame gained, which will decrease the grinding time and letting you go grind solo dungeons to get that silver even faster. My rough estimate for how much time you need on average to reach that 10 million silver is about 12 hours in total, I would say. Split that between your first three days where you get the premium for free, and it's not that unreasonable now, especially if you have the time during holiday season, either way, worst case scenario, if you don't reach 10 million within your first free three days, it's not like that means game over or anything. You still can catch up. Just do a few more solo dungeons for however long you need, you know, do it at your own pace. That's also fine. I hope you enjoyed this video, though. If you are a new player, make sure to check out the December meta tier list if you are interested in seeing what type of weapons work for different types of content. I will most likely be releasing a January tier list as well once the next big patch hits with all the buffs and nerfs. Maybe we will finally see War Gloves not suck. <laughs> but that's it for me guys. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.